What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to put um, the clutch on to the NA motor. So basically, I'm going to put that on that. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it, torque specs and all that. Pretty simple. Alright, so let's get to the video. So here's the clutch. It is a competition clutch, a uh, super single clutch. Basically, it's a race clutch. Uh, difference between, you know, this clutch and um, race clutches is it don't have the springs on the inside. It's just one solid piece. I'll put a picture right here. So yeah, so that's the difference with the springs and this is... Um, just solid no springs now that is good for racing clutches but the thing is it's going to put a lot of stress on the transmission um i am running stock transmission uh, that's probably be the first thing that goes is the transmission but we'll rebuild that if that ever if that you know goes that way so yeah this comes with throw out bearing comes with the uh, guider and a pilot bearing so right now i got to pull this pilot bearing out um, went and got this from AutoZone. It's 25 bucks um, to pull that pilot bearing out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Basically, that's how you'll have it set up: is you'll put these in, and then you'll start turning this out, and then that'll make those two little arms spread out. Once those spread out, then you're gonna take a wrench or whatever pliers and start spinning this, and then this will make this uh, bearing pop out. So yeah, that's basically it. Pretty simple. And I already did a little bit of it and it's starting to come out. So, all right, so the pilot bearing is out, which is right here. Uh, a little bit of WD-40, don't hurt. So I went ahead and pulled that out. So yeah, so now I'll put the new, I'll show you how to put the new pilot bearing in and then we'll do the clutch and flywheel. So to put the pilot bearing in, uh, basically, basically, you're gonna set it up right there. You know, get it as straight as possible as you can. Then you're gonna grab yourself a mallet and you're gonna use a number, what is that? Number 18, place it on there and just tap it in or take the mallet and tap it in. Um, it don't have to go all the way in. The uh, pilot bearing just gotta sit flush with uh, crank, this fucking thing right here, whatever. So yeah, so you just gotta put it in far enough to where uh, pilot bearing sits flush and then that's it. It shouldn't be that hard All right, so I will continue once I get that in there. All right, so there it is pilot bearing is in Like I said, it's just got to sit flush pretty easy um, Mallet from Harbor Freight works wonders Didn't have to use a socket just tap it till it goes in flush All right, so now I am gonna move over to this I gotta take this uh, pressure plate off and get the flywheel bolts ready to go on. I need to go down to the shop and get some Allen keys. So I'll be right back. Alright, so to take off this um, pressure plate, it's a six Allen key or hex key. Of course, it's gonna be different for stock because of the bolts. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and take these off real quick and then uh, talk at you guys for a minute. So, <clears throat> um, next couple videos I'll be dropping are probably going to be, the next video is going to be like a, a um, like an update of where I'm at on the black RSX, on the engine bay and um, heater, core, heater, core, heater core hose lines. Just an update of what I did, the harnesses and all that shit. And then, um, also going to do an update on, or not an update, but a video on the heater, co heater core hoses. Uh, to swap those out from the OEM to uh, vibrant hoses. So I'll go ahead and drop those videos 
here in the next couple days. Um, yeah, when you do take this pressure plate off and put on, you will kind of want to go in cross patterns. I almost forgot. That way it comes off even. At least when you're putting it on, you want to do a cross pattern. Um, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll drop um, the torque specs on how to, what it is to put the torque specs in for the pressure plate and the torque specs for the flywheel. Um, when you are putting the flywheel on, you do want to use a uh, red Loctite. You don't want those um, bolts coming out or you'll have to rebuild your motor. So yeah, and then um, got another video coming where uh, I'll do a review on the T and Springs, the Flex Z's. Been meaning to do that for a minute now. The weather's kind of crummy, but I'll still drop it. Um, I'll do a review on the Braum seats. Uh, what else do we buy? Um, I figure out that's pretty much it. It's just a review on those two things. Um, so yeah. And then I got a lot of content coming for the red RSX here. A little bit, you know, this motor's eventually got to go back into RSX. Um, as soon as I get the black one done with what it needs to be done and up and running, I am going to try to get my red RSX down there so I can start putting that in the engine bay and everything like that. I already got all the motor mounts and all that shit. Pretty nice. Looks like it's rebuildable. So yeah, Let's see, okay, pretty sweet. Trying to keep an idea of how everything goes. Clutch. Yeah, so I'll get the, the red RSX down there. Uh, it don't have a steering wheel, so I'll be driving that bitch with some pliers down the fucking driveway, down to the bottom. So I can start getting the red one going, you know, start doing some shit on that one. Um, yeah, so more content, a lot of content coming. Um, we'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and hit this with some brake cleaner or parts cleaner, whatever. We'll get the oil off there. Probably just hit the whole thing. It looks like there's oil film on this side too. So I'll go ahead and hit the whole thing and clean it up. Do that in a minute. Um, yeah, so I'll just, uh, content's going to be coming. Um, I broke my phone, some of you know. Um, got my replacement phone, but they sent me a fucked up replacement phone. So I had to wait for them to send me a new one. So it took like fucking almost three weeks for me to get this phone that I have now that I'm recording on. Yes, I record on my phone. Looking to eventually get a GoPro here um, soon, sooner than later, because I like to listen to music when I'm working on cars and using my phone, that's where I get all my music at. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and clean this up with some uh, brake cleaner or parts cleaner and then I'll jump back in the video and show you all this stuff. So yeah. We're going to go ahead and mount this up uh, according to the book. This is the RSX manual for uh, flywheel. You're looking at 90 pounds for the flywheel bolts. And then your pressure plate is only going to be... 19 pounds so yeah if you wanted to you could put some blue loctite on the pressure plate i'm not going to you don't have to it's i guess it's up to your decision but yeah 90 pounds flywheel so we'll go ahead and mount that flywheel up there and start putting them in by hand and then we'll break out the torque wrench and hit it with 90 pounds so put you on time lapse time lapse
tip when you're doing the flywheel bolts, um, like I said, you got to do in a crisscross pattern to tighten them up uh, right. Okay, you know, going, just like put on a tire, five lug tire, you know, you're going to crisscross, whatever. You got to use a 19. It's got to be a 12 bit or a 12 point, should I say, a 12 point uh, socket. So, yeah, got to use a 12 point. So when you're tightening these down, when you're torquing down the 90, you're going to do it in thirds. So I haven't done the math yet, but you're going to torque it to one, like say 20. Okay. Torque them all to 20. Then you're going to go back, start over, and you're going to torque them to like 60. Okay. For instance. And then you're going to go back and then you're going to torque them all the way to 90. You know, if you have to do it four times, do it in fours, whatever. You want to do it in intervals. That way you get this tightened down um, perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got what, I, got what I'm saying. So yeah, so do it in uh, three three steps. Whatever, whatever, and whatever. So 20, 60, 90, or 30, 60, 90. 30, 60, 90. There you go. 30, 60, 90. Right there. That'll, that's what you need. 30, 60, 90. So go around doing 30. Go around doing 60. Go around and do 90. Like I said, do crisscross patterns. That way it tights down flush and straight. And that's pretty much it. So I'll go ahead and tighten these up. And then uh, we'll show you the pressure plate. All right, so you do got to put a breaker bar on the front. It's a 19. Um, I'm going to put a pad down to the floor so I don't mess the floor. Um, yeah, I hope, hopefully my wife doesn't watch this. Um, she usually don't. She usually don't get past, you know, a couple minutes. Uh, she's a TikTok watcher, so anything over a minute, you know, <laughs> get all the attention span for it. So don't be telling on me. You know who you are, people. Don't be dropping the shit in the comments and knocking on me. People in Discord, don't be don't be telling on me, all right? So yeah. So anyways, you gotta put this on, and I'll go to the front and hit it with the nineteen. Yeah, I got this Harbor Freight um, digital torque wrench. This thing's pretty badass, man. Half the price of a fucking snap on. So yeah. So basically, I'll go until that hits the ground. Right now, I'm just looking to get 30, and then I'll bump up. Yeah, so just continue doing that all the way up to 90 pounds. Next, I'll jump it up to 60 and then 90, and then we'll finish that off, and then we'll put a pressure plate on. Yeah, so, yeah. Don't tell the wife. <laughs> yeah. So, got them on at 90. I realized once I got tightened them all down to 60, I forgot to put the red Loctite, so I backed them back out. Put the red Loctite on and hit it on 90. Okay, so now we're going to put the, the clutch and the pressure plate and everything else on. So let me go ahead and mount this up and then we'll go from there. All right, so once you got, go ahead and use the, the guider to guide you in. Um, always use that, of course, because you want the, pre the, the clutch to line up um, perfect. And then you'll go ahead and put one bolt in, one bolt in, and then start putting them all down. Like I said, crisscross pattern for tightness. And uh, let me look again to see what the torque specs are. 90 on the flywheel. And where the hell is it? And Jesus, where's it at? And 19 on the pressure plate let me double check that real quick another thing you want to remember is keep this in here until you get these tightened down and then go ahead and pull this out that way when you're tightening it the clutch doesn't slip down or slip up or whatever all right so those are all torqued down to 19 um, now you can go ahead and pull that out just like that 
And that's it. That's how you do a flywheel and clutch. Now, if you're just replacing the clutch, just go ahead and do that step. Uh, of course, this ain't OEM, but same process, same shit. And of course, it's not in a car, but one day I will have one of those videos too on how to do a clutch with the tranny on there because I, like I said, the like, first thing that's probably going to go on this motor is going to be the transmission. But yeah, so. There's a little bit on just how to do a flywheel clutch. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, hopefully it helps you guys out. Uh, like I said, the next video I drop will probably be just an update of what's going on with the black RSX. And then uh, we'll drop another video. I'm waiting for a couple hoses to come in. Either today or tomorrow. Um, it'll be the heater core uh, lines hooked up. I uh, figured that'd be a pretty good video, but um, yeah, I'll go ahead and drop that one too for you guys. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed every, enjoyed the video and like, subscribe, and K all day.